makes it much easier to uh, take all the places where it can hide out. And that hay goes straight back into the trap. Because the more the hay smells of animals, especially yep. redbuck tolls, the better. better. Yeah. Um, and you mustn't forget to put food back in. And then you put your hand back in. Well, I'll take the other hay out as well. So the vole isn't going to try to bite you? No. Um, I used to say voles and mice never ever attack until last year we had an attack vole that was the first vole in about 10,000 animals which actually <laughs> learned to attack and you would sit in the trap and go for you but I mean they can barely break the skin so even if they do attack oh my God, but so uh, yeah they don't attack um, so you put your your hand in don't forget to uh, tie your the background and then you try and get the animal into the piping back position so the nose into the corner Restrain it with your left hand, with the outside hand. Then you take the scruff of the neck. And you take about three or four times as much skin as you think you might need. All this between my fingers up here is skin. And you can see that they've got extremely loose fitting skin. Mm -hmm. And that is a predator escape strategy because they can, as this one is demonstrating, literally turn around in their own skin and bite you in the finger or the cat in the nose hmm. and in both cases it's got the same result you will let it go and the second uh, adaptation they've got is that they've got no uh, sensory nerve endings in the back of their neck and therefore if they escape from a predator even if they're quite badly wounded by the canines of the cat or whatever they don't feel it so as soon as you let them go I'm so sorry. Well, they'll uh, uh, around that way doesn't it yeah, being yeah uncomfortable. exactly but even if they're injured they simply run away they don't sit there and say oh my neck hurts so you have to hold them really quite tight so that they can't yeah, escape. If you're doing it on the scruff to the side, is that on purpose? No, that's uh, just, just how, how the animal ended up it. here. Is that there? Okay, so oh we'll my. clip mark, and you can see I just clip the tip of the guard hair off, which is the brown bits there on mm -hmm. the scissors, and that reveals the black under fur um, oh, okay. there. And therefore, we know that it's clipped. Oh, I'll clip a little bit more. Make that line mm, a little bit nicer. That yeah. hind so eye. it's just a black uh, spot on the left hip in this case. Yeah, okay. um, that grid will clip on the right hip just to, to make them different. Okay. Okay. Um, and then we know that we caught this one before. Now I need to get Whoa. the little plastic okay. bag out of the pocket. Okay. I'm terribly prepared. 